since it's a rainy day and a humid day, can't work on some of the canoe related things. So I have a few things I need to buy. Going to Lowe's, right up the road, and maybe Harbor Freight. Gotta get some rivets. Gotta get some fasteners of various sorts. Okay, so here's the update. Stainless, 1024, that's what I need. One and a quarter inch, right there. So I just got a bunch of those, 16 of them. And then I got the nylon lock nuts. And I got the finish washers, all stainless. Should be good to go. Also got some rags for the stain. Also got some gloves for everything I'm doing here. So that's a good update. Thank you, Home Depot. Go ATL. Pretty night. Pretty night out. Man, pretty sad this guy over here is on like seemingly some kind of major. He's on some drugs of some sort. He's been like dancing out here on his own for 20 minutes, clapping and jumping around. Long and short of it. I think it's crackhead got hooked up the wrong stuff. Tell me uh, in the comments down below if you get that reference. It sh should be a, uh, it's a pretty famous YouTube video from days of old. Let me show you this here. We're gonna work on the, um, hey buddy. We are going to work on the repair of the rat bite marks that have happened on the back of the boat because I finally got the uh, adhesive or the, uh, the goo stuff that's gonna fix these guys. Here, all along here. So I've gotta prep that and I'll just put that on GoPro and uh, bring you along. Okay, so a couple updates here. Um, I'm back at it, working on the canoe again. And one thing that I'm dealing with is the transom cap, which is this piece. It's called a transom cap. Um, it's in pretty rough shape. Like some of these rivets have straight up pulled out of there. Um, so I can get new rivets and I could probably drill through the canoe again or something, but I'd like to use the old holes and it's just so soft anyway. I think I'm gonna try to get a new one of these. So I called Old Town and they are uh, trying to get me hooked up here. So they gave me some information. Um, there's a transom cap that the guy on the phone said is only for the Discovery Sport 15, which is what they make now. They don't make the Discovery Sport 13 anymore. So he suspected that the transom cap wouldn't fit based on like the, you know, the curve of the boat and where the, where this is supposed to be at. But he just sent me the info for the transom cap and it's, um, I think it's just right. So it's supposed to be, here are the dimensions. So it's nine inches high. Okay, so it says that the transom cap is nine inches in height. I believe is that measurement. And then it says that it's 13 inches from side to side. Or no, not 13, 23. Uh, which seems to be right there, don't you think? And then it's two inches in width at the gunnels. Uh, it seems pretty I don't know, it might be a little too skinny. I think I'll order it and hopefully stretch it and hopefully it works. So that's the update there. So yeah, that's that's the update. That's cool because also it's cheaper than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like 65 bucks, which seems like a ripoff, but it's 39.99, so that's a lot better. Okay, let me get this flipped over and uh, show you what else is going on. While I was out of town for a few weeks. So when I got this boat, the bottom was in really pretty good condition for how old it is in my opinion and the main area that's worn down is back here at the keel i got this keel guard stuff that i'm gonna that's supposed to adhere pretty well it's basically like fancy duct tape and i'm gonna be putting that on in one of these videos um but otherwise the bottom of the boat didn't really have anything worn down to this white foamy coloration until I went out of town and came back to these markings, which are uh, my roommate 
works in like rodent pest control and he informed me these are a squirrel or a rat markings. Um, so they have chopped and chopped at my keel here, digging all the way down into this white foamy stuff. And now I'm gonna try to re repair that. So to do so, I've also contacted Old Town. They told me that the, the canoe material is polyethylene, which kind of is good, but sucks to adhere anything to. You can't really work with it very well, but they directed me to this uh, stuff called Partite, which I can buy from them on their website. It's a two-part kind of, I don't know, it's not an epoxy, but it's some sort of methylacrylic material that I can work to repair those deep gouges. And it's cheaper than some of the other stuff I was looking at. So again, that's kind of a win, a win there. You do have to heat it up though. You have to heat up the plastic of the hole. So that's, I guess, kind of risky, but I think I can handle it. So yeah, exciting, well, exciting development given the crappy news that something is chomping on my canoe hole and uh, yeah, my roommate said that rats and rodents, their teeth are constantly growing. So they're always trying to like chew on things to file their teeth down. So I guess that's what's going on there. All right, so I just uh, drilled out all the rivets. Don't really know if I was doing that correctly, but here they are, um, ready to be thrown away. Um, I got them out of there. I hope that I did not like melt the plastic of the canoe on the inside. This thing is still really on here. So I have the new one ordered. Should be coming in in a few days. We're gonna try to get this one off. Well, as with most things, uh, there's about 11 easy ones and one hard one. One hard one. So. That one there is proven to be a pain in the neck, but we will get it. plastic around the rivet there. We are off. Yes. Triumph. Hello. Yeah, that. That is what Triumph looks like there. Sweet. Here is the bare back. Bottom. The rest of it looks like. Pretty interesting. Wow, there's a big cricket. Here's a big cricket. Trout food right there. great thing I do, not the last great thing I do, because I am getting tired of suiting up in my protective gear, coming out here. I've covered this whole boat with a credit card, basically. Credit card edge, pretty much twice. Just to 
get all this paint off because you think you got it and then you see a little spot and you want to do that again. It really shows up once it's almost all gone. So this will be the last of it and I will be done with this portion of the project which I'm excited about. Warm water, your adhesive, your rag, alcohol.